Now the United Nations is warning the coronavirus crisis has put the world on the brink of a hunger pandemic. 265 million people could face acute food shortages by the end of the year. That is double last year's projections. CBS's Deborah Pata has more. This is what hunger looks like when it spills over into the streets. A food stampede in Kenya's largest slum, leaving scores injured and two dead. White flags waved by defeated families in Peru, signaling to authorities they've run out of supplies. A mile-long line for food in India, where workers wait in the hot sun. Protests in Lebanon as food prices surge uncontrollably. Even in the richest countries, the virus has left people hungry, but for the world's poor, it means starvation. Like South Africa, where a national lockdown has led to a sudden loss of work and hunger for millions. Food distribution is weighed down by cumbersome bureaucracy. If you're not on the day's list, there is no food. These people are desperate. They are hungry and they are angry. Their biggest fear, if the virus doesn't get them, hunger will. Imduduzi Kamalo has been waiting in line every day for two weeks now. His name is never called. If you are hungry, it's easy to get sick because of stress and everything. Yeah. He was working as a delivery man before the national lockdown dried up his income. His four young children used to receive two meals a day at their local school, which is now closed. They know that if I don't get anything for them, it's over. It's a cry echoed across the globe, prompting a dire warning from the United Nations. The world is facing a famine of biblical proportions. Deborah Padder, CBS News, Johannesburg, South Africa.